Hello, and welcome to this, a cursory analysis of new sincerity in modern anime and its relationship to traditional Japanese aesthetics. Look up saccharin in a thesaurus, and you'll see that 90% of the synonyms have a negative connotation. For a new sincerity artist to be described as saccharin is a compliment of the highest order. Some traditional Japanese artistic schools of thought have common elements, and a basic summary of these commonalities could be reduced to simple and profound moments, experiences of the beauty of nature and humanity, and their transience. New sincerity art has a strong affinity to these aesthetic ideals. These artists are sincere about their appreciation of beauty and their interpretation of the emotions that are evoked. New sincerity is not about merely depicting these moments. Instead, it is focused on enabling the audience to experience a sublime and profound moment. An example of a similar concept found in Japanese art is no theatre, which is also very much about displaying profound moments to enable an emotional experience in the viewer. The unsubtle nature of new sincerity is one of the things which separate it from some traditional Japanese aesthetic notions, which hold high regard for subtlety and tranquility. No theatre had its actors use movement and masks to express the emotions, and any non-masked actor would show no facial emotion during the performance. This adheres to the aesthetic ideals of subtlety and elegance. No theatre and other arts which share the concepts of you again merely hint at the presence of a profound realisation of the beauty of nature and of humanity. New sincerity does not have this circumlocutiousness. It is instead very direct and unambiguous. New sincerity is very different in its methods of evoking emotion, but the end result is the same. Earlier I mentioned simple and profound moments, experiences of the beauty of nature and humanity and their transience. Listen to these lyrics with that in mind from the song In the Aeroplane Over the Sea by Neutral Milk Hotel. And one day we will die, and our ashes will fly from the aeroplane over the sea. But for now, we are young. Let us lay in the sun and count every beautiful thing we can see. Love to be in the arms of all I'm keeping here. With me. This is a great example of the relationship between new sincerity and traditional Japanese aesthetics. Compare that now to LL Wikia's translation of Aozora Jumping Heart by Akua. I want to change my future by rising up like the sun. Our dreams shined, charging heart. Let's, let's use all our strength to grant our desires. Isn't youth surprising? I want to change, I thought. Our feelings are surely important. Let's go and take hold of our dreams. If it's with everyone, it's fine, even if I can't explain it. These are examples of the cause of new sincerity, friendship and emotions. New sincerity arose as a reaction to widespread cynicism in modern Western art, a remnant from the postmodern era. Many people were starving for art which embraced the beauty of saccharine emotional experiences. Many Westerners who appreciate new sincerity are drawn to Eastern animation due to the similar aesthetics. Manifestations of new sincerity in anime are very focused on the realm of human emotion and experience. There are many modern anime which could be used as examples, but I know of only two of which that have the ideals behind new sincerity as their core focus. Love Live and Kimono Friends. Kimono Friends 
just did not care if it was breaking conventions. It was focused on enabling the audience to feel the feelings that come from experiencing friendship and expressing individuality. Love Live is all that turned up to 11. To the creators of Love Live, imparting experiences is a science. Simple, honest emotions. Love Live breaks away from modern anime conventions by being a show with cute girls in it, but the show is not about how cute they are. It is about their individuality and their bonds with each other. New sincerity is not limited to these anime alone. Many anime have sincere interpretations of the beauty of humanity. These are just the ones that stand out amongst the pack. To clarify, when I talk about Love Live, I'm referring to the franchise as a whole, and I would also like to note that Love Live Sunshine shares more traits with the movement than the original. Another defining ideal of the movement is non-conformity and rebellion. The popularity of Love Live in the West exemplifies its position as the definitive example of new sincerity in modern anime. From the perspective of Western gender stereotypes, Love Live is a story for women printed in a men's magazine. It is a story all about feelings and friendship and flowers and rainbows and dancing and fashion and many other similar things. From the outside, it would appear that the popularity of Love Live with its mostly male audience is merely due to its place in the cute girls doing cute things genre. But you can not build a franchise as massive as Love Live on cuteness alone. What makes it special is the absolute emotional sincerity at the heart of the story. I'm not giving up. We still want to work hard and give people whatever it is we're able to give them. I want them all to know this feeling, to share it with them. One final thing. Kamo no Chome explains Yugen in a way that is, in and of itself, an example of Yugen. It is like an autumn evening under a colourless expanse of silent sky. Somehow, as if for some reason that we should be able to recall, tears well uncontrollably.